What's up guys and welcome back to GTA Online. Today we've got another brand new car to check out. This is the Vapid Ellie and it's actually modeled after one of the most iconic movie cars of all time. So, uh, if you guys know it by chance, feel free to leave a comment down below if you guys know. I'll give you guys a couple of seconds. But obviously, this is modeled after an old Mustang. This is a, uh, like a, a 60s era, 67, something like that. Shelby GT500. And, uh, it's modeled after the one from Gone in 60 Seconds. It's a movie that came out early on in the 2000s. It might have even been in 2000. Nicolas Cage, it was like this this heist movie, but the car kind of like almost played a role as an actor in it. It was just a super, super sick old school Mustang. And uh, that's what we're gonna be checking out here in today's video. So this is a, uh, a muscle car, which is gonna be interesting. We haven't had too many of these recently. We'll see how the... Uh how the speed's looking. Obviously, it's going to be quite a bit different than some of our supercars that we normally go with, but it's feeling pretty solid here. I was looking up some of the stats on it. Apparently, this thing kind of rivals some of the best muscle cars in the game. The one area where it's lacking is brakes, and I can actually already feel that right here. It's very, very slow to brake. Oh, hey, he has one as well. But, um, yeah, I'm excited about this thing. It should be fun. Probably going to have a hard time finding a race to use it in just because you don't really see too many... Too many muscle car style races, but uh, we're, we're going to give it our best shot. We're going to take this thing into the garage. We're going to customize it. We're going to make it look clean. We're going to make it perform even better. And uh, then we're going to see what we can do on the track. So it should be a good time. Let's go ahead and head back into our, uh, into our garage here. Office garage number three. I ordered this thing in blue. We're definitely not going to keep it blue. I think I would have made it... The Gone in 60 Seconds Mustang. The, her name was Eleanor, a.k.a. Ellie here, so it's it's definitely a tribute to that car. It was kind of like a, a gunmetal gray with the stripes. Oh, dude, it looks so good. Did it have... That had black stripes, right? I'm pretty sure it had black stripes. Yes, definitely had black stripes. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and go in and modify our vehicle. Hopefully, we're going to be able to put stripes on this thing. I can't imagine... Having an old school Mustang, especially one named Ellie that you can't put stripes on, but we'll see We'll see what we could do here. I'm gonna go ahead and put full armor, full brakes, full engine upgrades Transmission, turbo, looks good to me. Alright, so for the customization, what do we want here? I'm gonna say let's go with a standard splitter Exhaust, we could have some side exhaust Stock exhaust what the fudge? Sacrilege hood with blower. Or with blower too. Or with exhausts. Good lord, dude. This is getting really, really insane. Alright, I'm gonna start off... I'm gonna start it off with, with just keeping it stock. I wanna see what other options we have here. Oh, we've got liveries. Yep. Alright, there's the black stripes we were looking for. White stripes, blue stripes, green racing, yellow... Lots of interesting one here. I'm gonna go with the classic twin black stripe. Looks good to me. Respray, definitely gonna respray it. We need a, a silver. We need to go up and find a nice kind of like darker gray, but not too dark. I'm thinking something like this. I realize it's gonna look, I, I mean this thing, it's, it's not gonna be super vibrant like a lot of our cars, but that's all right. I actually, I may go, I may go with a more metallic. I kind of like, I kind of really like this one, but I almost feel like that's Don't too dark. Look pretty. We lighten it up a little bit. We do like a white. See, like some of the bleached browns and stuff, it's kind of lightening it up a little bit. I'm going to go with something like that. I think that looks pretty good. With the silver pearlescent paint on it. Okay, sun strips. Do we want a sun strip? I don't think I'm gonna have a sun strip. I think that's kind of lame. We're gonna go ahead and sport it. Looks good. Wheels, probably gonna keep those stock. Windows, I'll have a little bit of tint on there, but not too much. Plate, definitely wanna change the plate here. Probably blacken that thing out. All right, looks good to me. Um. Since we don't have any other hood options, part of me wants to go for the crazy big 
crazy big engine up front. I just, I think that's kind of cool. It's kind of unique, kind of different. Which one do we like? This one's kind of cool. I mean, they're all kind of cool. So is this. So is that. I feel like it looks, it looks better without the red. Typically, I would like the red, but I think I like it better without the red. Let's go all out, dude. We're going to go with this. Sounds going to be sacrilege hood with exhaust. All right. Let's go ahead and exit this thing to the ground, and we're going to see what she's made of. Oh, my goodness. I'm trying to think. I, I really don't have any muscle car races. I'm going to have to get on the social club and find some. But let's hope that this thing feels a little bit faster here. We should. We have an engine upgrade, transmission upgrade, turbo upgrade, brake upgrade. Cool. Look at the fire coming out of the front, bro. Look at that metal gas cap on the side. I've always wanted an old school Mustang. That's always, I, I've always loved Mustangs, especially the older ones, like 65 to 70, that kind of era. Holy cow, look at this blower up front. All right, boys. Well, we have all that we need here to be able to win some races. Let's hope we can actually, uh, actually get it done. Oh, I just realized we've got a wooden steering wheel here, dude. This thing is sick. This is truly, really, really awesome. All right, I'm gonna see you guys uh, once we can find a race. This bro's taking a picture right now. I'm gonna go ahead and salute him and then we're gonna do a long salute as well. I got you, brother. Woo, look at that. We're waiting, I'm looking for races on the social club, but these guys wanted to come on and hang out. So shout out to my dudes, uh, Allegra200 and Droppin Ops. So now we've got a, uh, a legitimate racetrack to race on. This should be interesting. We're actually playing a couple of a uh, couple of guys from the crew, so we know these guys are probably going to be good. I think they're the same two guys we're taking selfies with, but um, we'll see what we can do here, boys. Trying to get a uh, a little bit of both worlds: the stunting as well as the actual kind of like normal racing. This is Hockenheim Ring. It's a German track. And this is supposed to be like a legit one-to-one -one kinda remake of it. So we'll see what we can do. Looks like all of us went for the two stripe on our Mustangs here, which is kinda cool. Let's see what we can do. Gonna try to race clean, try to late race race nice. We just gotta be careful about the uh, the braking situation, dude. I don't like I don't like having to pre-brake so hard. The brakes do kind of, kind of suck. I'm not gonna lie. Granted, it is a muscle car. It's not gonna be as responsive as a supercar. I, I just, I don't know. Oh gosh. Ooh. We fishtailed a little bit right there, boys. We're gonna be okay though. How many laps do we have here? Three. All right. We're gonna see. We're gonna see what we can do. Is that the first lap right there? I think that might be the first lap. Okay. Oh man, this thing really gets sideways, huh? Oh, there's a pit option if you want to go into the pits. Obviously, we don't want to do that. Woo! That's the first lap. We'll take it. Dude, I really like the engine on this thing. It's not the typical Eleanor engine. Didn't have the, the blower and exhaust sticking out, but this is just, this is cool, dude. Let's try racing. Ah, no, never mind. I was gonna say, let's try racing inside, but I literally can't even see the entire right side of my car. The road. Seems to be going pretty well so far. We've got a decent lead. Let's see if we can keep it up. I like the whatever green stuff they put on the outside of this, dude. It looks like rolling hills. I actually feel like I'm in like a, a Forza or something right now. Like it, it looks kind of like it would obviously not nearly as detailed, but definitely feels different than the typical GTA style race. Oh gosh. Whoo. We gotta be careful, man. I was trying to get kind of cute and fun since we were so far ahead. He caught up pretty easy, huh? Oh, baby, we're good. Got to be careful around them corners, man. Give me this draft, please. No, it's not going to give us the draft. Okay, lap three out of three. Here we go, fellas. We kind of let up a little bit. 
Let him catch up. We gotta put it into overdrive here. I thought we might not get that checkpoint there. Holy cow. He's pulling off on us now, dude. Take the inside. We were like in complete control of this race. Woo! That's gonna cost you some time there, bub. Can't take those corners too hard, dude. We never even touched him. Oh my gosh, the nerves got to him. Shout out to my man, Brahma. I would have done the same thing, dude. If I had somebody right on my tail, riding me like that, I would have I would have been stepping on the gas too hard. I mean, I've already done it once in this video. All right, we just have a couple turns left here. Final turn. We made it. Holy cow, that was a good race, man. Shout out to these guys, that was fun. So we've got the same two guys in here. I figured this would be kind of fun. I mean, it started with a selfie and it ended with two races. These guys have the same cars as well, which is kind of interesting. So we were able to beat them in the first one, but who's to say that's gonna happen here? We've got, um, I honestly don't even know, know the name of this one, dude. It, it should be interesting. Do we have all three guys here? Yeah, we've got all three here. Uh, but this is supposed to be, it's supposed to have, it said an easy wall ride for noobs. And it had a couple other things in it, so I figured it'd be kind of a cool one. Not like too crazy over the top stunty, but enough to kind of see what this car can do. Ooh. Yeah, this thing, uh, it's, it's got a, a light back end. It likes to, it likes to get a little bit squirrely in the back end, that's for sure. Everybody likes a girl that can twerk though, right? Okay. Not good. See what I mean? Like this thing, it just, oh dude, once it gets out, there's nothing you, oh, he, he spun out too. We're all spinning out here. All right, this should be interesting. I like the look of this. Go up and over. Oh my gosh, dude. Yeah, I, I I was trying to turn right and I just wasn't turning right enough. Usually the supercars, you kind of tap right and it just, it kind of works. That one, it was like, you really had to hold it right. Hopefully we can finish this with muscle cars. I don't know, that could be a problem. We'll see what happens. Looks like all of us failed it. Only problem is here. I'm gonna start drafting this guy on the wall. Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> that was insane. GG, bro. GG. I hope he didn't slow down to, like, not spin me out. If you spin me out in a situation like that, go for it, bud. I just hate people that spin me out, like, on purpose. You know what I mean? Looks like the other guy is having a hard time getting around the wall ride, which stinks. Feel bad for him. All right, we're gonna keep on going here. Why does it... Why does it say we're in second place? I'm a little bit confused by that. We're getting checkpoints, we didn't miss a checkpoint. Weird, dude. Watch me end up winning this and I just get a second place. Oh my gosh, dude, the turning in this thing is so hard. I'm glad to know I'm not the only one struggling with it. Just gotta kinda let off the gas, honestly. If you, if you keep the throttle down through the turn, that's when you're gonna mess it up. All right, we're looking pretty good here, boys. Oh, there we go, we're finally in first. Did this guy get teleported ahead of lap, or what? The guy that can't make the wall run, I don't know. Dude, seriously, I don't know what it is, but this like, it's weird, it, it doesn't, it doesn't wanna move like normal. 
I think he got teleported ahead of lap, dude. It says I'm only plus three and plus five. How? There were only two of us that made it all the way around, and somehow this dude is in first. I'm confused, bro. This is a super easy stunting race, though. This is kind of cool. I like it. It's a nice mix. This would be a good, a good race to just kind of test the overall performance of a car, because it's got a little jump action. You can kind of see it in the air, see how it performs, but mainly all on the ground. I want to know how this guy tricked the system or whatever he did, dude. I, like, I'm, I'm flabbergasted right now as to how I should be a whole lap ahead of one of these guys and I'm not. Whew. Those guys took that corner too hard. You can't take the corners too hard, dude. I, like, your, your in, interior being just wants to keep that throttle held down, but you can't. That's the worst thing you can do. All right. So if we clutch this up, if we get a good entry and we come all the way through on the wall run, we are pretty much guaranteed the win here. Looking solid, boys. Looking real solid right now. Got a nice little lead on these fellas. And we're gonna see if we can uh, if we can go two for two on the day. That'd be nice. This thing feels good. I mean, it's it's a muscle car though. It's a very expensive muscle car. It's like 500 grand, I think, is what we paid for it, which is kind of ridiculous. I feel like the car prices are getting out of hand. Yesterday we checked out the 2.8 million dollar one. Now we're checking out a 500 thousand dollar muscle car, which you don't really have a use for in this game because nobody races muscle cars. But still interesting to check out. So hope you guys enjoyed. I'm gonna see you guys. And our next GTA Online video, next time there's some DLC or something comes out, I'll be sure to check it out for you guys. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Drop a like if you made it all the way to the end. We got two wins today. Can't get much better than that. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.